Hi, my name is Gwen. I'm with Stitches in Motion, and in this video you will learn the first part of SoCat Basics, which is setting up your catalog. On the left side of your screen are all your computer directories. The middle pane will show a summary of the SOCAT program until you have selected designs. The right panel is your virtual catalog directories, and in the bottom area is a design preview area. All panes can reset, be resized by dragging the separator bars. Before you start moving files, you must set up your catalog. How you do this is personal preference, but the majority of users organize their designs by subject. As you can see in the top right are some sample folders to start with. Think of them as a filing cabinet. The top folder, Sample Catalog, is your filing cabinet. This filing cabinet is used for embroidery design, so I'm going to change the name to Embroidery Designs by clicking on the words Sample Catalog. There will be a box around the lettering letting you know that it is editable. Once you have changed the name, you can hit the Enter button on your keyboard. Notice to the left of the Embroidery Designs folder, there is a minus sign. This means that your files cannot be expanded any further, or using the filing cabinet theory, our filing cabinet is open. By clicking on the minus sign, we can close our filing cabinet. The plus sign means that we can expand our files. Notice the plus sign beside the sewing folder. That means it can be expanded farther as well to show further files. The plus sign changes to a minus sign as there are no more subfolders. You can rename the sample files, but on, I'm going to delete them all except the top one and start fresh. Do this by clicking on each file folder you want to delete and click the delete button on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can drag the folders into your recycle bin. Deleting a folder will delete any subfolders attached to it. If you delete one by mistake, you can click the, click the undo icon on the toolbar. I'm now left with my main catalog and my recycle bin folder. Before starting a catalog, you should have a rough idea of how you want to organize your designs. This way is only a suggestion. I'm going to create categories or subject folders. With the embroidery designs folder highlighted, sorry I chose a name, I'm going to hit insert on my keyboard. That will create a new subfolder, which I can rename by clicking on there. I'm going to call this one Animals. Remember, you only need to click on the folder name to change it. And the highlight returns to the top folder, so I can hit my insert button again and rename the next folder. Notice as I add the folders out of alphabetical order, they are automatically put into alphabetical order for me. If you would prefer that your designs not be, or your categories not to be sorted alphabetically, you can go to Tools and unclick Alphabetize. Now within my categories or filing cabinet drawers, I can also have subcategories or subfolders. For example, under Animals, I could have various types of animals. By hitting the e Insert button, I will again create a new folder, which I will call Dogs. I could have Cats, Birds. Again, if you have a lot of designs of your favorite, let's say in this example, animal, uh, you have a lot of designs of uh, flamingos. If you click on the birds folder, you can insert that and again create another subfolder of flamingos. When making subfolders, don't worry about covering every subsubject though. By that I mean you may not have or ever have a lot of giraffe designs. In that case, don't make a giraffe folder. I'll show you how to handle that in part two of SoCat Basics. Once you have your catalog set up to your preference, save the catalog so you don't lose anything. And I have one in there called Embroidery Design, so I will just call this one for the video sake, Embroidery Design Video. If you have a folder or embroidery designs in your computer, you can save your catalogs there. In part two, we will start adding designs to the catalog. 